In this lecture, I am going to discuss about database seeding in Laravel. With database seeder, we can insert dummy record to our database tables. So, how we can generate database seeder file? If I check Laravel documentation, we can generate database seeder with the help of php addition make seeder command. So, let's generate user seeder in our project. So, let's run this command from our project root php addition make seeder user seeder seeder created successfully and this will be inside our database seeders folder here is our user seeder file and here we have this run method so whatever the code i will write inside this run method will execute when i will run this user seeder so from this run method i'm gonna generate a new user record to our users table with the help of user model so let's import our user model here and we can create user record with the help of user models create method and inside this create method we need to provide an array and we need to provide the attribute and its value so let's provide user name here and then let's provide user email address here and then let's provide user password we cannot provide plain text password for the password field. We need to provide hash password and we can generate hash password with the help of hash password. Let's provide password 123456. Because we are using this hash password, we need to import this hash password inside this file. Now I am going to tell you how we can run our database seeder. If I check Laravel documentation, we can run our database seeder by running php addition dbseed command. This will execute our database seeder.php file. This will not execute our user seeder. But if we want to run our user seeder, then how we can run our user seeder file? If I check the documentation again, you see we can pass the seeder class here with this hyphen hyphen class text. So let's run this command from our project root to run our user seeder file. So database seeding completed successfully. If I check our users table now, we will have a new record inside our users table. Now I am going to tell you how we can call this user seeder from our database seeder.php file. So let's remove this record from the database because we are going to run our user seeder file again. So now I am going to call our user seeder from this database seeder.php file with the help of this call and we need to provide the seeder class here the seeder class is user seeder so this will execute our user seeder now if i run php addition db seed this will run our database seeder.php file and this will call our user seeder if I refresh our users table now, we will see a new record. Now I am going to tell you how we can call factory from the seeder file. So from this user seeder file, I am going to I am going to insert dummy record with the help of user factory. In the previous lecture, I discussed about model factories in Laravel. And here inside this database factories folder, we have this user factory. And here we have this definition method where it is returning an array and it is generating fake data with the help of php fecal library. And if I open our user model, our user model is using this hash factory trait. That's why we can call factory method to our user model. So let's comment out this lines of code. Now I'm gonna use our user factory to generate dummy record. So let's call factory method to our user model and then to generate record we need to call create method this will generate only one record and if you want to generate multiple record then you can pass count method and you can pass the number here suppose i want to generate five record then i can pass five here so this will generate five record to your user table with the help of user factory now let's run php addition db seed command again and if I refresh our user table now, we have the newly generated record. So 
that's it for database seeding in Laravel.